I've a thing or two to tell you that I think you ought to know. It's about that rusty bucket Sully carries down below. You're not the first one stranger that has laughed at Sully's pail. You're the only one that's laughing now. The rest has heard this tale. Well, when we was young and handsome, had some ten years in the game. Old Sol, he had a partner, and Jim Riley was his name. They'd knocked about together, Bingham, Butte, and Coeur d'Alene. They'd brawled in every barroom from Illy to Fort McLean. Well, now me and old Ted Johnson, sure you'll not remember him. We was working at the Raris, had a stoke with Sol and Jim. The four of us together, we was working side by side. That's how come I chanced to be there on the night Jim Riley died. Well, the blastin' had been easy, it was coming out like sand. And we was mocking out the all those days we mocked by hand. And we was nearly finished, and I hadn't heard a sound. But something must have happened, for Jim Riley yelled, Bad ground. When we headed for the timber, and Sully must have took a spill. For when we looked back in there, he was pinned beneath his drill. The ceiling, it was grown, and now all set to drop the lid. And Sully, pinned beneath his drill, was sobbing like a kid. Well, as men can watch their partners die, not throw their lives away. But Riley wasn't one of them, he wasn't built that way. As soon as he seen what happened, hey, hold on there, soul, he cried. And before he had the words out, he had cast the drill aside. They came around the oar car, Riley wearing a big grin. Guess he never knew what happened when the hanging wall caved in. So he reached the timber in his face as white as chalk. And Riley, two yards back of him, caught sixteen ton of rock. That day Sully's pail was buried, he ate from Riley's pail in tears. And he's carried that same bucket now for more than twenty years. So you may laugh at Sol because he's mean and drinks a lot. But don't laugh at Sully's bucket. It's the only friend he's got.